What if I told you that the White House just compared pro-Palestine student marches to the infamous neo-Nazi Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville? Earlier this week, a Fox News reporter asked the White House press secretary whether Biden thinks that the anti-Israel protesters are extremists. She responded saying that President Biden strongly condemned the neo-Nazi Unite the Right rally and will continue to come out against hate in all forms. But here's the problem. The anti-Israel protests that have been held across the United States are mostly pro-Palestine rallies demanding an immediate ceasefire to end the carnage in Gaza. And while they may be critical of Israel, they are certainly not anti-Jewish. Their demands are for peace, not violence. But what is even more ironic is that many of these protests are being led by Jewish peace activists who are rightfully angry that mass slaughter is being carried out in their name. And calling them that is not only infuriating and insulting, it is factually inaccurate and a type of disinformation that spreads a toxic narrative that anyone who stands up for Palestine is anti-Semitic and does nothing to combat actual anti-Semitism, all the while distracting from the fact that Palestinians are being slaughtered in Gaza. So stop spreading this kind of disinformation and demand a ceasefire now.